Hey guys, once again, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. This week, I would like to share with you um, uh, two spiritual forces um, and the differences between them. And you can only operate in one at a time. You either operate by the, the, this, this force called faith or this fo force called fear. And it's your choice. But you can't operate in both of them at the same time. You either have to be a faithful person or you're going to be a fearful person person and if you're a fearful person you can't be a faithful per person satan cannot do anything to us apart from fear he uses fear in order to distract us in order to to get us off track and not believe the things of god by the same token though god doesn't do anything in us or through us apart from faith and uh, we're going to see that if you look in hebrews chapter 11 it says this it says, now, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Notice the first word there, it says now. This is a word for today. It's not a word for someday in the great by and by. This is now. Faith now, right now, works. So we need to use it. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. So the things that you hope for don't have sub substance. For instance, if you're short on money, you hope that a check is coming in the mail. Well, your faith will cause that hope to have substance. Okay? So your faith is very important to you to cause the promises of God to manifest in your life. And it's the evidence of things not seen. So there's, well, if there's no money in your checking account, <laughs> You don't see it, so when you believe God and believe His Word, the Bible says that He knows your needs before you ask, and He supplies all those needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. When you use that scripture and you, you use your faith, you'll see it manifest in the truth. It's substance. It gives substance to the thing that you're hoping for, and it'll be evidence of things not seen. Let's read on. It says, for by it the elders obtained a good testimony. The elders is speaking of those who were in the Old Testament that operated by faith. And, and when you look at their life, like David and Joseph and, and Samuel and all the rest of them, when you look at their life, you will see the evidence of faith and how it worked in their life. Because they were faith people. Look at Jesus. He was definitely a faith person. And when you see his life and how he applied the word of God and 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 called on God because of the promises that he knew were his, that hope turned into substance and was an evidence of the thing that wasn't seen. It was an evidence of the promise. Um, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which were seen uh, were not made of things which were visible. So it says here, by faith we understand. In other words, by faith we begin to understand the very things that govern the, the kingdom of God. We begin to understand the way God operates and see how he does things. Uh, for instance, here it says we understand that the, wor wor the worlds were framed by the word of God. God said, light be and light was. He spoke the very words and it happened. And we're created in his likeness and image. And we are supposed to speak the words of God and know the promises that he's made us and operate by faith in order to take all of that, the unseen, and bring it into this earth and let it manifest in our life. If you jump down to verse 6, it says this. It says, but without faith, now this is without faith, it is impossible to please him, God, uh, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, that God is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So again, when we look at that, it's impossible to please God. So why would we even want to come to God without faith? We need to operate by faith. We need to understand how faith uh, uh, works, and we're going to talk about that this week. Okay? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it's the evidence of things not seen. Okay, we're going to pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.